We are up to Rabbi Zira Shaw. I think we might have got a little past there, but let's take it over there. Rabbi Zira Shaw, which is three, six, nine lines on the top. Rabbi Zira Shaw, Rabbi Zira asked Rabbi Bar Bar Zapta, Mali name Magabi Sandal Echad. We spoke yesterday about uh, the studded sandals, right, which we had in the Bavli already, you know, the nails protruding from the sandals. Now it's wearing on Shabbos. So can you put them on one of your sandals? Or you have up to a quarter of up to 24 nails. Can you put them all on one of your two sandals? I'm really sure he said it's okay. Mali name Magabi Mina Echad. Can you put them on one shoe? Now there are two versions here. The, um, Corbinator takes out the 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 echad, and he says the Shiloh was where there's that din. He now it's where the sandal and the sumar, the studded sandal, also on shoes. Or is it just the uh, does it just apply to sandals, right? So so and Amalei Shari he said it's permissible. They never they never made the gzir on shoes, just on sandals. The other one to understand is that Pnei Moshe, and really this is the same question as the previous question. It's divided in two artificially, but the question is whether you're allowed to put all 24 of those nails on one sandal or one shoe. And he said it's permissible. Okay? Aim a guardian minolim sandolim. One is not allowed to scrape shoes and sandals because you might come to, uh, to, uh, as a result, you might come to actually do or tan them in some way, shape, or form. I don't know if tanning is the right word, but work them over. What is allowed to oil them and rinse them? Rabbi Krispa, Bishem Rabbi Yochan, Tambu, did Rabbi Chia Ruba. Rabbi Krispa, Ne Rabbi Yochan, the students of Rabbi Chia the Great said, Amin, they, they said, um, that uh, the, they said that the Rishonim, the earlier generations, or Rishonim Yomrim Magadim, would say that you can't scrape your sandals on Shabbos. Rashnim, the later generations, who became from her, of course, Omrim Eim Magadim, said you can't scrape your sandals on Shabbos. Be Charles the Rebbe. I asked Rebbe. Now, Rebbe, so, so, so the, again, here we have Machlos, Korban Eidos Girsos Rav. Asked Rav. And uh, he's going to be one of the. He's going to be. Uh, yeah. Well, let me try it like that first. He tries to Rabbi Umar and said, "Aim a guardian." He said, "You can't scrape." Our Rabbi Zir said, "Hazila chadam itamud did Rabbi Chia Ruba." We see one of the students, Rabbi Chia the Great, said that you you can't scrape. As opposed to the other students who just mentioned a moment ago, hold you can't scrape. That's the way the Korban Ada does it. Pnei Moshe, however, doesn't so change the gears. He says, "We tries to Rabbi." At, uh, I asked Rebbe himself point blank, and he said, Hey, Magari, we're not allowed to scrape. And that Rebbe Zira said, Nevertheless, we find one of the suits of Rebbe the Great. They go around the Paschal that you're allowed to scrape the shoes on Shabbos. Okay, be that as it may, says the Gemara. The Rabbanan, the Gesom, the Rebbe Yisrael, the Gesom, the Gesom, the Gesom, the Gesom, the Gesom, they said you can't scrape your shoes. So Vaal Khorisaka as long as you use the back of the knife, not the front of the knife. Right? When you're talking about scraping, they're not doing this on purpose. This is a Doroshano Scottish. No, it is. I mean, well, what do you mean? They want to be scraping their shoes. To get off mud. So. softening the leather. That's the answer, but that's not why they're doing it. If they're doing it in order to solve the leather, it certainly would be awesome. The question is whether. Yeah, Something like that. Okay. It's a little bit of a wild uh, connection there. What's Sunday to that effect? Okay. Says the Gemara. Um. Amr Yechi Abrashi Nigin Abin Yasu Kumi Rebbe. We assigned for Rebbe Mashkin Umeshagzin. Which meant that we would uh, 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 pour oil on our shoes and we would also uh, pour water on them. Uh, for the, that as well. However, our guardian, we were, would not scrape our shoes. Says the Gemara, one is not allowed to oil shoes and sandals. We also a person not allowed to put oil on his foot if the the the, the foot is in a shoe. That's Ragu with or his uh, his leg, and he's in a sandal. But he's allowed to first uh, anoint his foot with oils, and afterwards, in a separate step, 
Nosa tochem mino put it into a side of shoe, and similarly is allowed to anoint as rag or as foot, but Nosa tochem sarna put it into a sandal. Okay, so the two step process is permissible. One step process is forbidden, but it's too similar to uh, to tanning. Okay? Says the Gemara, Sachshem Isaga Gabi Kapta Blaya Chadosha, you're allowed to pour oil on a new uh, mat, a leather mat it seems. Veino, uh, 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 not to be a problem, does not problem Shabbos. Late in Agabi Shetabo Shel, Shel Shayish, Misagula. But somehow, if you put the same, the same leather mat on a marble table and pour oil on it, so that doesn't, that doesn't wash. That's, that's no good because, uh, it looks too similar to, um, the Chil Shabbos. I don't know exactly why. I'm not sure the difference is. Yeah. Smooth. What? Maybe. Maybe it's more smooth. I don't know. So name it. Says the Gemara. Loit of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai Matir Shimon Bar says permissible. Ain lo b'shem idolim v'sadoli chadoshim. One is not allowed to wear new shoes and sandals. And he can't lo b'shem ibal halach b'em ibal yom. Unless you walked in them for me before Shabbos began. Why do you think that is? Because they, they hurt your feet. That's right. You might come to very good. They might hurt your feet. You might come to carry them. Says the Gemara, "Kama yelo be luchan." How much you have to walk with them before Shabbos begins to wear them on Shabbos? So bnei b'ati bar kapora. I mean, the something to do with bar kapora said, "Ad beis rabbi to rabbi Hoshea." I skipped again. The, uh, the, uh, I skipped, sorry. Maybe they buy the Rebbe Kapoor, the sons of Rebbe Kapoor, I mean, they say me base Rava, from the house of Rava, which is a certain well, very known base Medrash. Rava the Rebbe Kapoor, add base Revia, so the Rebbe Yeshua, out to the base Medrash, Rebbe Yeshua. So base Revia means a schoolhouse, right, where they taught the stuff to cause people growthful uh, activity. So um, that distance. That's how far that so much has to wear the shoes before Shabbos begins in order to continue wearing them on Shabbos. The Bay Bar Kapora said, that's the Bar Kapora they said, uh, I'm sorry, it doesn't say the Bay. The Bar Kapora, that's, uh, right, Bar, I'm sorry, went, went back. Tzipori, I mean, in Tzipori they said, I mean, Knish the Bavloi, the amount of time or amount of distance which you have to walk in these shoes is the distance from Knishta Bavloi for, uh, uh, from the Babylonian shul in, in Zipori. I died to Rabbi Chaim Barachanin until the uh, dwelling place of Rabbi Chaim Barachanin. Tiviroya means, very they said, means Sidra Ruba from the great base Medish, Ar Chanusa Rabbi Yushreya. Until up to the, to the store kept by Rabbi Yoshio. So all these things are the definition of the minimum shurim of, um, of, uh, bringing your shoes. That's right. Okay. Thanks. To, uh, uh, sandal shivsku oznov. A sandal who's, um, who's, uh, yeah. whose handles are broken off. Not handles literally, but you know. The eyelids to which you place the straps. Okay? Sano Shivsku Chavi, uh, uh, Oznov, or Shivsku Chavisov, or the, uh, what? The, um, the larger, um, what did you call them? Um, no, I'm sorry, I take the back. Sashivs goes of Shinivsku with Chaviosov is is its Ritsuos, its its belts. And Shinivsku um uh Oshipisha Akha Rov Achas Mikapa from the majority of one of its souls is missing. So then Torah the whole thing is a tar, because it's no longer to be a shame clean. However, Nisqa Akas Mios no if only one of his handles is missing one of his yeah one of his straps one of his one of his uh, not straps but uh, 
the base which holds the uh, what? No. Um, Actually, the corbinator says Tarsio Sabaru Tsuas, Shalasando, Kafi Hawaru, Aruch says the other one. One pair is like a shin guard, the other one seems like to be like a strap. It's really not a shin guard. It's really not a shin guard. Thank you. We had a picture in Shabbos. Where was the picture we had in Shabbos of the shoe? No, we had in Shabbos. Well, there's your basic sandal. This is the um, these are the chavasim. These are the tarsils. See, this is a solid piece of leather strip in the back, right? It's the heel piece. It's the heel. Yeah, right. It goes around the heel. It's solid. Okay? And then we have Kapoisa, that's the actual base. Okay? So, Sado Shnipsku. Oh, where am I? Uh, oh, boy. Um, I'm sorry. I'm tired. Once, once I go to New York at the beginning of the week, ruins the whole week. <laughs> Not a reflection of New York, Chas <laughs> Hashem. <laughs> this is traveling. It's the traveling. It's the traveling of being uh, spoon-like sardines onto the airplanes and all that. Uh, what? How? Yeah. You guys are travel first class? Bye. Yeah. So in any event, um, so here it says, Nivsko Achas Mi Oznov. I don't know if to win or not to win. I lost my place. Let's start from the little hay. Okay, Salash Nivsko Oznov. The Oznaim are the uh, the uh, uh, are the uh, that's where the uh, things actually go. So let's have us, huh? Maybe. What does they say here? I'm not sure. Thank you. 
Okay, this is the uh, various different components. Okay, you have strings which go across here, and you have strings which go across back here, right? The string, right? And this is the heel piece. Okay? So now it's here inside. So now the go Osnov. The Osnov are these are these things. The things in the back. Literally, it's handles. Shivsku Chavosov, those are the, the strings themselves. Three strings here. Shivsku Tarsiraisov, those are these little things over here, which hold the strings in place, okay, in the front of the sandal. O Shapir Shirov Achazmi Kafor, the majority of what of its soles is missing. Tar. The sandal's tar. It no longer is a Kaili. It loses its status of Tome, which it once had. Shivsku Achazmi Oznov, if one of its handles is missing, one of its um, uh, strings, one of its um, one of its tar- uh, one of its um, one of its uh, whatever these are, these things which hold the strings in place. Or not all the soul is cut into, but a majority is gone. Still, Tom, it still has his name as a shoe. But we don't have primus tmeya. If the one towards the inside between your legs breaks, tmeya, then it's still t- it's still tmeya because you'd still wear it because the 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 problem is on the inside of your legs. However, uh, uh, that's the other way. Uh, if it's pierced on the outside, so then it's not, uh, then it's too hard because nobody wears the sandals in that case because it's degrading. So I mean, I mean, I mean, if the inner one is pierced, it's still tummy because it's still keli. If the outer one is uh, pierced, meaning the outer one means towards the outside of your body, away from the picture on your outside side as opposed to your inside side, so then it's, uh, it's, uh, Tar, the shoe is tar because you're never going to wear it again, at least not in that Shabbos, right? So there, it's not a kid, it's not a vessel, it's not a vessel vis-a-vis Tumon Tar, not a vessel vis-a-vis uh, Shabbos either. Um, says the Gemara, Rabbi Yaakov Racha and Rav Tavli, Rav Tavli Chanin, Barboa, both Bersay B'Shem Rav, Halok Rabbi Yudalin and Shabbos. So there's a Shabbos, Halok is like Rabbi Yudah. Rabbi Shmuel bar Rav Yitzchak Havalei Uvda. He had a case. Shmuel bar Rav Yaakov Baracha. Gabi Rav Chia Barba. So he sent the child for Rav Yaakov Baracha to Rav Chia Barba. Rav Yitzchak said, "Kshen Shin Chalukim Ben Shabbos. Kachim Chalukim Ben Tuma. All the same machlokes we have in Shabbos. We also have in Tuma." Borlei Kra. Burley Rabbi Pasma like Rabbana. What did Rabbana hold again? <coughs> oh, then no matter which one broke, it's still Tommy. Okay? Inside, outside, it doesn't make a difference. Okay? Um, boom. Rabbi Shusso says more, Rabbi Shuba, Rabbi Yitzchok. Boy, he asked. Veshama Meimar Halacha Krabi Yehuda. He per that Halacha Krabi Yehuda from the logic. Vum Arle Krabon. He's passing like Krabon. And how could this be? So Riach Bar Yitzchak Kavli Yehuda. He also had a case. Sholch Lei Sholch Shol Rabbi Zira Zira. He went to ask Rabbi Zira. Rabbi Zira Shol Ravami. Rabbi Zira went to ask Ravami. I'm going to say second evening. Mishu Mitame. Quite a bit. Who says that even what after part of the shoe is missing and still Tame? Uh, so. It should be mutter actually. Mutter it says, but you're allowed to use it on Shabbos. Why? Right? Because it still has its original form, right? The divrei divrei mishum entire. Where anybody that says once a little broken already is tar, so then it should be also allowed to use. But not allowed to go with it because we're afraid that all sorts of things might happen, catastrophes, and so on and so forth. What? 
with it also in the books because it's no longer uh, a shoe? Yeah, that's a good point. Right. If it's books um, are no longer shoes, so it also have that problem. It could be. Very good. Right. So we didn't learn anything at all from this exercise. Um, uh, because uh, he didn't get a clear cut halacha, we pass him like either like Rabbana or like Rabbi Yudah. He didn't, doesn't know who who's who. Says the Gemara Tani. We learned. Avol, however, mitaylu boy nachi magiad peso shulchatzero. One is allowed to use to wear a ripped sandal until one gets the opening to one's courtyard. Rabbi Yachov, Rabbi Zira, avol mitaylu be isratatio isratin. They were walking down a large road. Yisik Sanda, which uh, I think it's a Shusarabi, but I'm not sure that's Jermaine. So Yisik Sanda, Rabbi Chiracha, Rabbi Chiracha Sandal split open. Mean the matul of Pile, when they reached the town of Pile, Omar Issa said, Zel Pesach Haterecha, he pointed to somebody's house and says, This is the opening to your courtyard. Okay? Rabbi Yacha Rabbi Yacha Korach Sabon Olayin. Rabbi Yacha used to wrap around. He used to wrap this around. <laughs> well, he used to wrap around the shoe which broke on Shabbos, a little piece of palm strand in order to hold it together. Okay? Rabbi Avonu, Rabbi Avo, Agid Malbenike. I skipped, right? Why? Rabbi Avo, Korach, Agid Malbenike. He composed. Um, and comprised the shoe. Where the belt, the 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 shoelaces broke by using a little bit of uh, of uh, palm 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 thread in order to do it. And maybe did it before Shabbos began. I don't know if he did it on Shabbos. Oh, actually no, on Shabbos not know because he didn't do kosher. He didn't try anything. Right, even if it's not Kishokam, it's worse it's the Rabbana, man. Then it's even lower Madre, there's the things that turn out all so wrong. Again, I lost my place. What? So I have a good Mabinike, I mean, I'm from Mukhan. He held that those little twist ties. <laughs> I don't know if that's what they have, but which tie together vegetables, was there be mukhar and he used them to press the grapes. Okay? Rabbi Yona Tauke, the Chachil Churchil tray. This is, uh, I said grapes. Was it grapes? Um, doesn't really make a difference, right? We'll assume it doesn't make a difference. Rabbi Yona Tauke, the Chachil Churchil tray. This is, uh, Rabbi Yavo said again, this bundle which they used to tie together vegetables is considered to be muhan. Rabbi Yaina Tauki the Khalitre. Now nobody says exactly what this line means. Everybody goes to town here and nobody clearly understands what's going on. Some of them even admit to understand what's going on. So he says, Rabbi Yacha, um, Rabbi Yaina, sorry. Tauki the 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 lechitra, so they change the gears here to. Um, I actually don't have to change the gears because I'm not going. Um, he threw. He threw a sandal. The chiltere is the sandal. I don't know what language, but sure, some Greek Greek Roman dialect. So Tauke the Chilte, he threw his shoe via car, and that is a special mile. In other words, even though he could have walked to the ne- next place, which was a Rosh Hashanah, as he began, nonetheless he threw his shoes immediately where he was. It happens to me, they bring down here that there happens to have been 
some way to retrieve it. But he did throw down the where it was, and then didn't take it home to the chotzer to the courtyard of his house as it is mutter. Okay. So 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 being a sock the chitre, he 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 threw the shoe into a chitre, which the Mefarshim say is a store, a store used for making perfume. The uh, car. When it says the car, uh, yeah. What, what did I say? Um, yeah. Rabbi again, Rabbi. Perfume store. He attacked the the hill tray. He threw the the shoe. We used to break into a into a store, be a car, and that's better. Of tzavchra be sidra a car, and it, we, I forgot how to read that. Okay, Bnei Moshe says, by the way, you're looking at the top of Bnei Moshe, right? I'm looking at the carbonator. Oh, the Because Bnei Moshe gives a whole long shot, and then in the end he says, that's why I said you vomits, but that's the wrong shot, and now it's only the right shot. <laughs> that's right, that's great. <laughs> you see, if you take a look at the third to last narrow line, he says, that's why I'm having difficulty here. Kach mi rash mi abomis shom. <laughs> so I don't know. No, that's right. He went through a whole long thing, which is uh, understand that. He went through a whole long thing, which is incorrect. That's I don't understand Even Lieberman says he didn't talk. So yeah, even Lieberman says he doesn't understand the language. They, they throw in the word Hadusa. So a Tauke means he threw. No, it's when his shoe broke while he was walking. He took it off, but the thing is, he didn't want to leave it right there in the middle of the road, I guess, you know, for some reason. So, no, it's not necessarily bottom line. I mean, I, it seems like being thrown into a story had a way to retrieve it, but uh, it could be because you're not allowed to leave something. Once you start with Shusar Yachim, you're not allowed to leave it with Shusar Rabbi. You really have to remove it to a Carmelis, right? So he would take it off his foot, right? Talke and throw it to the Talke of the Chitre, the car, and there was plenty room to to go the, to to throw it there. In other words, he had enough room to get it in. It was um, it was uh, it was very easy for him to do. However, of Sivchar, what's the big mile here? A li- uh, uh, no, I think you're right about the bottom line. Right. According to the first shot, I think he says, the one he rejects, that it was for the bottom line that he threw it there. And a big, bigger mile would have been had he not thrown anywhere and just dropped it on the spot. But the second shot, he says, he threw it in because he had to throw it in. He went to middle, leave the middle of the Shusarabi, it's not right. The corpus is the other Shusarabi. And he threw it into a broad place in the store. And of Tzibchar, the, the mile is that he did this even though a little bit down the way, Tzibchar always means a little. Have a Sidra of the Rabbi Lezer. There was, have a Sidra Yakir. There was a, uh, the way the Pnei Moshe reads, uh, have a Sidra Yakir of the Rabbi Eliezer. A little bit down the way, there was the, the, um, the uh, the uh, the base medrash Sidra's base medrash Rabbi Lezer and Masalikli and he could have walked there. Why? What does it mean he could have walked there? Because we said before, if your shoe breaks in the middle of your road, you can go to the opening of your chutzner. So I really could have done, gone a little bit more and gone to the base medrash Rabbi Lezer. It's a mile. It's impressive to us that he didn't go that far. But really, where he was, he took it off and threw it into the uh, the media of their Jason store in order to prevent any pro- possible prohibition. And that was less than dollars. I assume so. Yeah. So um, anyway, that's me saying like this. 
Say it like that. Rabbi Yer Boy Kun Rabbi Zir Maul Achlif. Rabbi Yer Has Pon Rabbi Zir Can you switch shoes? When one shoe breaks, can you switch to the other side? Amalei Shari said it's permissible. I feel okay nonetheless. Amalei so he said. Pukha, nonetheless, he said, Go find a certain fiber in order to use, in order to try it together. In other words, even though hypothetically you could switch one shoe to the other foot, nonetheless, I'd rather you get a, a rely on the hatter of using a certain type of uh, a grow, uh, a fiber in order to fix it. Okay, I don't remember that probably made a big deal out of this fiber. I think the Bible just said it's also. But I might be wrong. <laughs> so he went to ask him, asked for him, I allowed him to wear the shoe without adding on this little fiber. Um, Rabbi Yisrael said, Masli Soma Kevavain, our Mishnah says that shoe mil malbush, that he could switch shoes without fixing it up from foot to foot, and that's considered to be a valid form of dress. Which won't be in Israel of Otsar. How do we know that? Because it says that need on Obershel small be a mean chalitzas of Sheira. If we take off the left shoe from the right foot, the chalitz is good. Says the Mahad that Tame Malorach, it's only lengthwise. Have a rocha of Tershiro, Chovis Rova Rego. But widthwise, it has to hold the majority of the foot. Now, nobody knows exactly what this is going on. The name Moshe says, uh, uh, what it means is that the um, I think he changed the gear so yeah he changed the exact opposite he says let's cover most of the foot but now we mean whatever the case may be we mean that it acts so that you can have a sandal which is split horizontally and vertically and one of the two directions has got to be completely whole, not partial. The other one can be partially destroyed, even majority destroyed, as long as something's left. Okay? Carry a place. You can't make even a temporary knot. You can make a double knot. Yeah, a temporary knot, but not a permanent knot. Yeah, that you might be okay. You can't take out the shoelaces. I put it in the middle. Right? Yeah. Okay. It's not misake. The other shoelace is mukta. So it's never used before. It's not misake. It says the male. Um. Uh, Unless you just Right. right. Lo You can't go with one sand. Because people suspect you. Shloim, they shouldn't say Ishpo Nifsak Sandolo. That the, uh, this guy, his sandal broke. The total obey Shekhi when he's holding it under his arm. In other words, he's really carrying it at the same time because he's only wearing one shoe. The other shoe must be under his arm. Says the Mare. Bismach ein brag or mako. Was a quote from the mission. It says only when his foot doesn't have a wound. Yesh bismano, yesh brag or mako. If he has in his foot a wound, who knows he's allowed to wear one shoe. Our ladies made a noise that which leg can he wear the one shoe on? We have a small cloak in the body in the Bible as well. Shmuel mer al oisah shein bo mako. Who knows? He put it on the other shoe, the, the, on the other foot, the foot which has no maka, right? Uh, why? Because ima emrat al oisah sheish bo maka. Mister says that he puts on the one which has a wound, right? So then ima emrat al yeh also sheish lo maka. Who knows? He man sire lay. Who's going to see? Who's going to know that he has a wound? Right? Cause it, he's going to hide the wound by putting the shushu there. Sire means like sire in, in Hebrew, which means to you. <coughs> Who's going to see it? So the next word it says the law, but I think it's a typo. I think it's supposed to be Elo. Elo yite and of course he should put on the other foot. Rabbi Yochamara loser sheisha mako knows it. You can put on the foot, you put on the foot, which does have the wound. Shimon Barba 
have Mishamish Kul Rabbi Yechon. Shem Barbos was serving in front of Rabbi Yechon. Baba Moshe Le Sandole, Gohada the Tani, was giving him sandals like we learned there, Braiso. Says the Derech Eretz, when, for the proper Derech Eretz, Shu Noel, when you put on your shoes, Noel Shemin, first you on the right shoe, Bachar Noel Shosmo, then you put on the left shoe, right? Shu Chalit, to remove the shoes, Chalit Shosmo, first you take off the left shoe, Bachar Chalit Shalimin, and then you take off the right shoe. So he gave him first which shoe? Which shoe did he give him first? The right shoe. Right, because he wanted to put on the right shoe first. Because you know, no, no, surely mean, right? So Rabbi Yechonon said to him, Armel Rabbi Yechonon, Bavlaya, Babylonian. Well, Tabe Cain, don't do that. You're showing Loyosa Cain. The original generations would not do this. They'd, exact, they'd do the exact opposite. What do they do? Well, you know how when they used to put on shoes, no, so small. They should first put on the left shoe. But Charkach, no, so I mean, only then the right shoe. Why is that for the Chashibus of the right shoe? So, Tires, so Tires, so you mean Paguma. That the right shoe or right foot shouldn't look damaged. What do you mean shouldn't look damaged? What do you mean it shouldn't look damaged? What? So it's like, Mara, Hadamra is teaching us also Sheshul Makunos. What is the damage? It must be the damage is that if you put only a right shoe on, if there's a moment when you only have your right shoe on, at that moment it looks like that right shoe, the right foot must have a water, according to Rabbi Yochanan, a wound, because you only allow one shoe at the time when there is a wound. So Reset Rabbi Yochan to the Shabbos, he said, if you give me the right shoe first, I put on the right shoe first by itself, so then everybody's going to think that the right shoe is wounded. So if I give me the left shoe to put on first, and then I'll put the right shoe afterwards. Okay? Then nobody will know if there was uh, some problem or not. Okay? So, that's, um, uh, so that this is all the deduction. Some, uh, somewhere here, Rabbi Yochan statement ends, Rabbi Shem Barbo's deduction begins. I don't know exactly where. So it says, Rabbi um, Yochan said, yes, um, in, yes, Bavlai, uh, in Bavlai, the Kamti Alei, correct by the Babylonian, because now you have revealed my secret. Okay. Says the Lord further, Yotzeb et Tfilin Erev Shabbos, Im Chashecha, was allowed to go out with Tfilin Friday night before nightfall. Then Yotzeb et Tfilin Erev Shabbos, Im Chashecha, Im Chashecha, Im Chashecha, but not with the studded sandal, which is also where Shabbos means the Rabbana. My ben zu zel zu zel was introduced in the two cases. Zel darko lachlots. By Tfil, we're not afraid you're going to wear them at night because normally people take them off at the end of the day. The Zayin Dark of the clothes, but uh, the Sand of Musumar, you're not necessarily going to take off because you might want to walk with it and therefore Chazal Asr it even immediately, even at, late in the afternoon on Arab Shabbos. Okay? Ezukah now totally have left field. Ezukah be a mumcha. What is a successful amulet which is demonstrated prior to try and prove them that you can use? Right? Says the Mark Kosher Reaping Vault, the Shalom Shilish, anything which healed a person three times in a row. Vote with Shame Rabbi Yech, what's the matter? Okay. Rabbi Yech, Vote with Shame Rabbi Yech, and said, Naman Arofi, the doctors believe Lomar to say Kamea Semumcha. That this is, uh, that this is an expert Kamea. We be civil over Shani. So usually, Shush Lashim, I doubled it and tripled it. Right, the Shul of Hashem Rabbi Zero said, "Repay lo adam echad, nema lo adam echad." If the kameh worked for one person, so that kameh now is good for that one person, right? Lishnayim, the kameh worked, the amulet worked for two people, so then Lishnayim, the amulet is good for two people. Lishlosha, if the amulet worked for three people, nema lo chol adam. Then it works for anybody. We assume that anybody in the world will benefit from it, and we let anybody be Mechal Shabbos to take it. Okay. So, right. Now, the amulet, though, here it's being used as a We're going to discuss that. Mm-hmm. So, so. One is allowed to wear an expert coming out, whether it's made out of uh, a puzzle incantation, or whether it's made out of grasses. 
Vachli Hanalo Lova Shivalo Tabas, as long as you don't give him either in a shear, which is a form of a necklace, or a tabas or a ring. Um but, Yeah, I don't know exactly why. The, the Muslims don't explain what's the problem with that, but somehow or another, the, the Kame is not effective when it's in the form of, a, you know, one of these things. A ring or... I guess, when it's just adornment. <laughs> right, something like that. Maybe. Makes sense. Uh... Bo uh Bomra Kumi Rabbi Yahudi Yanasan, he asked for Rabbi Yanasan. Mao Mathisin Bahind the Silona, what what's our luck by putting hot water in jets? Certain kind of pipes. Um, I say, said hypothetically, I say hot water, uh this is like about the Kamea. Can you put a Kamea into these pipes? So says uh um, so he said yes. Vajli Nenu Lobish uh Vajli Nenu Lobish here below the Yeah, he said you're allowed to put I don't know exactly this work, but there's this little jet which I guess time released the herbs or something like that. So uh you're not allowed to put the uh, you're allowed to put the um the 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 what the herb in the silona in this little jet as long as I don't put it into the bracelet or into the ring I don't know exactly where it is it's a nozzle a nozzle so all the water goes past it and I guess it gets heated up or something so you that effect okay what. Yeah, but somehow you put an artificial thing in there to higher heat up other water as well. Okay, but 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 Rabbi Kohen Rabbi El Yonasan. That's Rabbi Yonasan. Mao Mapi Paumu Maiko. You allowed to wear it's like a neck necklace, kind of another kind of necklace. You allowed to wear it on. on uh, 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 so they said that Mishum Tachshi. It's also even wear a week thing where the before she explained it, because it's Zeich uh, Luchorbe, you're not allowed to wear jewelry. It's so it's also to wear this even on a weekday. So it says the Gemara, Imishum Tachshit. It's also to wear even on a weekday, because it's a dormant of Avodah Zorah. Lo Daniel, Imishum Tachshit, Lo, Lo, Low with Daniel. I'm not sure exactly how to read that. I guess we would have a problem with Daniel. It's in essence what it means. How so? Uh, because uh, Daniel, it says, um, the, the, uh, uh, just bring out the extra part. Low, no, no. Imishutashu, low Daniel laser. Laser meaning Daniel shouldn't have put it on. Laser means to put it on. Why should he put it on? Because, I'm, where does he put it on? It says, He had one of these uh, golden chokers on his neck. So it says, well, It can't be a problem with tax. It can't be a problem wearing jewelry, which is forbidden. And he is a problem of Shabbos. You, you, you have a buy, you bind it or you connect it somehow to your garment, so it should be okay. Rabbi Yossi Barbun, which Rabbi Yossi said, Makosh Nisrap is really a new issue. A wound which is healed. No sailor would see, you have to put on a bandage, even though the bandage looks like it's a fool, it's not. Shane El Kamishmar is only a safeguard from anything getting in there. Right? Rabbi Abu Mishem, Rabbi Rabbon and Tamin Tamon said, No sailor Gavi Makosh Nisrap. Shane El Kabishamri, you'll have to put stuff on a Mako Chavis because it's only preserving it. Alright, Tanak Adam said, except for uh, the medicinal herbs from the grape plant, which are refua. Okay, so the use them on Chavis is like, brings the Xer of Shrikas Samar Money. You're not going to grind, you're going to grind the flour on Chavis. Says the Gemore, Rayah Mashir Abona, I'm sorry. I'm right, Tanakh, the Kuma said, Kutsmi Alek Panim Shen Lefua, 
Again, we give over anything except for the, the leaves because they can be a refuah. I'm Rabbi Huna, hard to If you have a pear with some kind of vegetable, ikar tav. One of its roots is good. Sagging, the more roots you get, tav is even better. Call the isbe, cut the isbe, chamisho kitrin. There are various different gradations where it has five knots. Shiva's kitrin, seven knots. Tisha's kitrin, or nine knots. Tava, the more knots it has, the better. Tava sagi. Okay, um, again, I'm not sure exactly what these knots are, but they're K N O T S, right? What? Yeah, but in other words, you knot them together. Okay? So then when you knot them together, I'm not sure exactly what you do with it, but they're good for medicinal purposes. Now, Anchor, very interesting. Gemara now. Anchorin. So it's not allowed to say mystical mumbo jumbo incantation of Pasuk vis a vis a wound on Shabbos. Says the Gemara. I skipped. Sorry. The pay only works if you don't put in water with it. Okay. Anchor Pasuk Gabi Makab Shabbos. Right in the car, Yabrucha Osir. The truth is, all those who read Psukim, such as the Psukim of Yavrucha, which have to do with the Dudoim, which, which Ruvay brought to his mother, they're all forbidden, right? Also, Bo Kriyas Apostok Alzeh. Come read this Apostok. Abni Shehim Ad Bas. That's good? No. Abni Shehim Ad Bas. Uh, well, a proper apostle is there is one thing. Come and read this apostle with me for a healing. Or, Albanishum at Bas, you have a, a woman has a son who is having some sort of seizure. Taina love, save her, put her in a safer tower, Taina love, fill it, or put her in a film, Bishul Shishin, or they should be able to sleep. Also, that's forbidden now to make deep return to superstition like that. Hey, we had something like this in the Bavli, too. Right? The word was it talking about there? Some idea. I don't remember exactly what. But um, uh, here we see that one is not allowed to have believe in superstitious signs and says things like that, right? Or even to use a pasuk in order to heal oneself. So it says, "Why can't you say this, right?" Uh, I didn't learn. Are you on the going to Used to say a song, you know, of, of, of uh, against affliction. What's that? Um, Rabbi Yudhiya said, Kankshan, Nifka, Kan. Oh. I guess the way that's more his answer. Um. Name it. So the question is we see, they, they used to say the song, the Shushab Goyim, in order to protect people in Yushalayim, right? So you see, you'll have to use Sukim in self defense. Self defense. So if you don't conscientiously come to alone, if God depends if this already was was afflicted or not, if it was already afflicted. You can't use a pus to get you out of your agony. That's mumbo jumbo, and that's per, not permissible, right? However, before you get into a position of difficulty, you can dive in to avoid it. Okay? Says Gemara. Let's see. In Tzav Atay Yom Yushir Pogi Miushalayim, they used to have this song in Yushalayim. So Rabbi Yudan Yudan said. Only once a person had a incident, the, then does he actually use this um, shushab koyim. I'm sorry, the exact opposite. Only before a person has an incident, not after a person has an incident. Because before a person has an incident, so it's a metaphysical protection. Once a person has a, has had the incident, this uh, doesn't protect them. It's preventative medicine. It's preventive medicine, right? What about saying to you? Same idea. Be prevented. Yeah, nobody understands exactly why that works. The logic is if it bothers me enough, so maybe I shouldn't want to be because of my schus. That's what it is. Okay? But otherwise, you're right. Our chronic have difficulty with it. You can't mean it, it's wrong, but uh, it's difficult. Okay? So, what my shavez is shushab goyim, what's the shushab goyim to prevent afflictions? Hashem or Abu Tsarai will call Mizbor. And Yoshiba says, Oh, yeah, Kyoto Shah Max, the Leon Santo, and Elko Bukhom is more the entire, uh, the entire, uh, 
the entire mismorit talent. Okay, that's the shush of Graham, which you say when you have an impending difficulty. Okay, Aloha Gimel. Lotetsi Isha Mamacha Nakuba, a woman should not go out with a pierced needle. Below, a pierced needle, there's a place for the thread. Nor with an, a, a key which has a signet attached to it. These are various different types of things which a woman wears in order to, uh, in order to have a, um, or to have like a pocket. So kuliar is one in which she. Uh, I don't know, it's a pocket. Whatever the case may be, some kuliar is some sort of a, a woman's uh, attachment. Lobakovelas, not something which is uh, not with cables. Below, which is uh, some way of holding up. Um, um, we'll see the more we'll explain. Lobakovelas, so but soga should apply to nor with a plate full of perfume. If she took anything out, these out. Chayev is chatos. She's chayev chatos. Okay, the divrei mayor. Chachamim poaching kovel sotzol shul plaiton. Chachamim say you're potter from a chatos in the case of uh, plaiton, in the case of slochis, but not in any of the other ones. Okay. Says the Gemara. Tani, we learn. Lo yetsi achay b'machto shebekelo. A a tailor should not go out with the with the, with a um, needle because that's like advertising. Lo lav lo are not a sofer. Uh, uh, now with the the thing in his nose, uh, and the um, the painter should not leave without his uh, without his uh, reference card, right, which he puts by his ear, which has all the other different paints. Uh, and a the money keeper should not go out. Bedina uh, Shabazno. Uh, I make a mistake. I think I made a mistake. Let me start being more again. Tai let's say chayv b'machto. The 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 tail should not go out with his uh, eat with his um, needle, even if it's fixed into his garment. Right? Shabbat kelim. Lo alav lo anar sofer b'kumos raz. No, he shouldn't wear out a kumos a pen, even though uh, he's you know he's using that pen. Vatseva kedzuma shabbos no. And color is like the 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 case of the the. Uh, the um, but Tzava is the painter. The du- <laughs> Too tired. But Tzava, the Duma shows no. A painter should not go out with the sample in his ear. Like I said, his color card. the nor money changer with his money in his ear. If you wear out the display you wears in public, you're exempt. You're not chayiv on b'chul shabbos. The very mayor. Chomrim uma b'mnusu chayiv. Chomrim say any time you take something out, which is your nor the norm way a craftsman carries it, you're chayiv. You transgress shabbos. Hashar klod the miyad zimkach. Anybody else can wear it out like this. Mechal v'shitas her mayor. This is kash her mayor. The scene at time when it says here by this woman or a mishnah, a miyatz if she went out with any of these implements. Chayev, chayev is chatos, chayev chatos. Divrei Meir, she is also a chatos. V'achah, but by the by the artisan and his implements, Atoyim Rochein, you say it's only the rabbon and not the raisa. Ramon, Amar lo stam. So in order to answer this kind of seeming contradiction, Ramon said without attribution. Rabbi Avum, she Rabbi Yochanan said said. Rabbi Avum said, "Nay, Rabbi Yochanan, Tama derech hotzav benoshim. Women carry all these things out. That's why for them it's chayev chatos." But here, the truth is, no craftsman wears the stuff in his ear or in his hair, whatever the case may be. It's an exaggeration. Who goes around failing me? His kids go around like that. They say, my daddy's a tailor. And look, here's his needle. Or my daddy's a, a painter. Look, here, here's reference card, right? So, but uh, that's not, doesn't make it there. And therefore, the adults are not chayev on that. Okay? If they emulate the kids. Mechav. That's a different hole. I mean, That's separate from not chayv chatos. Okay, that may be it's not chayv chatos. The opposite. Now, according to Abonah, 
exempt a woman or a mishnah, she goes out with a covelas, or so is a plaiton or a bucket full of perfume. But if she goes out with a sewing, you should try it. How can this be? It should both be chayav or both be bater. Says more of a doy yumad b'musul chayav. The truth is that price over there is also talking about women. If it's a woman who's a sewer, who's a needlepoint maker, and she goes out with a needlepoint needle, she's chayav, right? That's what we're talking about. Okay. That somehow they didn't get across. Says the Gemara, I'm Rabbi. Rabbi said. Uh, uh, didn't read this. All right, the potter be shogodel. It's talking about a woman who is a tailor already. Rabbi Yaakov b'shem b'shem Rabbi Avin. Rabbi Yaakov b'shem Rabbi Abba bar Rav Nachman said Rabbi Nechemia Zui. Our mission is being like Rabbi Nechemia. How so? The tina we learned. Tamon over there. Tabashom and Kelim. Tabashom Atechus. You have a, a ring made out of metal, right? The chaisim shalah and its seal shall matech shall amogas of coral to mail. The ring is tummy because the ring is primarily what? Primarily wet metal. What about vice versa? Tabash shall amo. The 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 ring itself is coral, right? The chosam shall mateches. The seal is made out of metal. So then in that case, um, it's considered to be uh, well it says Gemara. Uh, Tire. Right, because we go by the, uh, the, 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 the the amount of metal, which is the minority. So, time, let me say this, Rabbi Nechemia Machlif, Rabbi Nechemia changes it. Rabbi Nechemia Merbetabas, Achar Chosam. We always follow, we don't follow the majority of the substances, we go after whatever the seal is. So, that must, our Mishnah B must be Rabbi Nechemia, because our Mishnah says if you take out a a ring with a seal, you're chayav on Shabbos. The only way you can say you're chayav is if you say that the focus is on the seal, because rings itself you're allowed to wear on Shabbos, right? So it must be the focus on the seal. So it says the Gemara, on Rabbi Elo, Rabbi Elo said, no, my skin. And you follow its rungs. It's like a coat hook, you follow the stuff which holds the coats up. The no achas misam nirav by a, a, a lock. You go after the uh, the um, the clicking things inside, whatever they're called, the uh, tumblers. You go after the tumblers, right? Am Ravila, Sir Ravila said, "Tipat the divriyaka." No, you can really answer. Mish is going quite to everybody, right? How so? Bishal tzuk shal tzio lachdom ba. When you removed it in order to uh, when you removed the the, the ring. From place to place in order to seal with it. You move in order to seal with it. So obviously you're machshim the seal. So that even according to our bonner works. Not just according to our mechemi. Wolf always follows the seal, but if you intentionally took it in order to seal, so then you're chayv on that. Yeah. A man, not a woman. We talk about a woman, for it's worse. Ashur Sher Vazir said, if you add a ring which is made for both uh, dormant and for sealing, if you took it out in order to seal with him, if you took it out with jewelry, even on the seal, if you take it out now with jewelry, so its jewelry effect is primary, and the other effect is secondary, and you follow the primary, and therefore your parts are because for jewelry you're allowed to wear a chop. Okay? Loyeta ishu matra go out love a scythe, not with a sword, blow a cash is not with a bow, blow a trist now with a shield, blow a ola now with a fork, a trident, blow a romach now with a spear. We know that we did chayev chatos, and now to carry these weapons at Shabbos, Rev. Lezer and Tachshit in a low. Weapons are adornments for males. The Chomrim ain't on low, he'll deny their detrimental. Not detrimental, derogatory. Shemrit says, they'll beat their swords into plowshares. The Chani is so saying, limits Amros and their spears into pruning oaks. Okay. Biri Stoero. If a woman's wearing a bris, which is a single garter support, so she's tall. That's if she can wear it out on Shabbos. Kalim, uh, uh, Kivolim, it's made. 
The volumes are between waist and uh, between leg and leg, and they are restrict movement, like cables, like that, right? So, uh, so kavolim are uh, tmeim. They answer with shabbos. They are kelly. You can't wear them on shabbos. Okay, let's get back to the weaponry. See if it says v'chamushim alu bnei yisrael me'aretz mitzrayim. They came out chamushim. What does chamushim mean? Uh, equipped with weapons. Malami they were they were weapon they were armed. fifteen types of weapons. We don't know exactly where they are, but eh, 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 there were fifteen types. Vezo he well which kind of weapon is in Allah? Minman Tani from that which it says Rabbi Yaakov and Rabbi Isa said me my term it's going from when do you can you take Truma off fruit? Mishatak or Allah, what's the pitchfork is removed? From the pile. Adam Ras teaches us can mean digrin that these are like pitchforks. Okay, they're tridents, you know, Neptune is a trident, that's what they are. Matam Rebless the wise Rebless says swords are good. Because it says Chagor Kharbucho Al Yerech Kibor. Gird your sword on your thigh, courageous one. Hold Khavadrech, this is your glory and your your majesty. What's larger about it? The Chita Sukar was saying that they'll beat their swords with a plowshare. The Chani Sosayim is a mayor saying their spears into uh, pruning something or other. Right, pruning, pruning forks or pruning whatever. But it's only when the Mashiach comes. Or when the UN comes. It's on the UN. So, in any event, so, 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 uh, uh eating is uh uh so chabasan eating that's eating that's plow shears. Khan Sam is a mayor some guys and pruning whatever uh, shears. Uh Khim Shari Yachan said uh that's it from my focus more doesn't resolve it. I know you can say Lossi Lava, but then whatever. It's uh you still have to keep your weapons. Yeah, but it's not a mile. Uh Khim Shari Yachan said Beer is Koshi Yachidis. Beer is a single guard of support. Kavoli Koshi Shells been assignment has Chains from leg to leg. Remember, Biri so et sado. Biri so Tanakh Losh is called an et sado. The Maravid said, When he cried his carbon of Shem, it says in Parshas Matos Masse, who brought the carbon of God, Isha Shem also called Zob, and he personally found gold is brilliant as the carbon of the base of Mikdash, the Mishka, and after the war against Midian. Et sado, et sabita, bas, gomil, or gilva chumaz, chaper, and after saying we brought all these jewelry to atone for ourselves before leaving the Hashem before God. Etz Odah, what's an Etz Odah? So proofs the law. That's a garter support or a stocking support. Tzamid, what's a Tzamid Shirai? That's bracelets. Kamad Amr, like it says, Vatibidim Ayadeh, Eliezer put the bracelets on Rivka's hands. Tabas is his Kaya ring. Agil Kachaya. Agil is the jewelry of prostitutes. Kamad Amr, like it says, Now I take that back. Kochai just means earrings. It's innocent. It's not. It doesn't have a that secondary meaning. No. Kumada tamer by glim shalas and echot earrings on your ear. Kumaz. This is the prostitute one. Yeshur in some say that's fusho beisarechem. It's the form of the womb. Yeshur in some say that's fusho dimes the form of the breasts. It says to see by yemo and it says on that day. You also are shemes tiferes achsis. God will take away the glory of the achsis, and the achsis is some sort of uh, uh, some sort of uh, some sort of uh, adornment. And we say that's a kar kadaya. It's a, it's a type of shoe. Okay. Kamad kamad the tema it says raglei ta chasta with their with their feet they caused anger or they caused uh, they caused poison it said that the uh, girls of uh, uh, the Benosian would put packets of perfume in the in the front of their shoe and go like this and the perfume would come out and attract people so that's the Kurkadaya. okay now we're going to go it's late we'll have to stop here we're just going to go till the mission will take us 30 seconds tomorrow just a list of the various different to a piece of jewelry mentioned in Yeshaya Gimel, which Hashem says they'll do away with, and their translation to Aramaic, which is really exciting. We'll do very quickly.